Hi, in this video we'll see how to use the throw method on generators. If you haven't watched my previous two videos on generators, it's definitely recommended to do it before you go on with this video. And now let's have a look at the generator defined in the previous video. Well, this generator yields the letters making up text. Now suppose we need to know the value of position as well. So where in the text are we? The generator object can use the throw method to get this information. How does the throw method work? Well, it raises an exception at the point where the generator's execution was stopped and returns the next value yielded by the generator. Or, if the generator doesn't yield any value, it raises the stop iteration exception. The exception passed as an argument to throw must be handled in the generator function or else it will propagate to the caller. Now let's rewrite the code of this generator so that it can handle the exception and so that the value of position is available. Now if we want to handle an exception, we need the try except block. So we can wrap this line of code in a try except block like so. Try. Here we need to indent this line of code. So try and accept. Exception. And the exception should be handled like so. Print position equals plus the string representation of position. Okay. Now let's send this code to interactive mode. Fine. Now let's create the generator object. And let's call it letters equals letter generator with the following string. It's just the whole alphabet. Now the iterator is ready to work. So let's call the next function. Next letters. And we get A, the first letter. Let's call next again. Next letters. And we get B. And now let's use the throw method on the iterator. This way, we'll be informed about the current value of position. Also, the next element will be returned. So, letters, throw, exception. Now we have position equals 1 and the next element is C. Now let's use next again. Next, letters. We get D, the next letter in the alphabet. And finally, let's use throw again. Letters, throw, exception. Now the position is different, it's 3. And the next element is A. So this is basically how we can use the throw method on generators. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.